Welcome everyone. In this walkthrough, we'll look at an experimental method to work out the enthalpy change of an aqueous reaction. This involves a calculation and is worth six marks. The final part of the question requires you to outline an improved method and is also worth six marks. Black text is the question, red text is additional information, and blue text is the answer. You can pause the video at any time and have a go at the question yourself. Let's get started. Here is the information about the experiment. Pause the video and press play when you've read it. I've cut the question down, leaving only the essential information. We have to show by calculation which reactant was in excess. Then, we have to use the data to calculate the experimental value for enthalpy of reaction in kilojoules per mole. We can assume that the specific heat capacity of the solution is 4.18 joules per kelvin per gram, and that the density of the solution is 1.00 grams per centimeter cubed. First, let's work out which reactant is in excess. We can find the amount of zinc ions from concentration and volume. This works out to be 5.00 times 10 to the minus 2 moles. The amount of magnesium is found using mass and molar mass. This works out at 8.5597 times 10 to the minus 2 moles. It's a one to one reaction, so the magnesium is in excess. It's really important to show working out thoroughly. Show the equation that you are using, the numbers in the calculation, and the chemical that this relates to. Include the units, even for in process results. The energy change is given by Q is equal to mc delta T. M is the mass of the reaction mixture in this case. Because the reaction mixture has a density of 1 gram per centimetre cubed and a volume of 50 centimetres cubed, the mass of the reaction mixture is 50 grams. I have ignored the mass of the magnesium, but you could choose to include it. The energy change is 7,795.7 joules. The enthalpy change of the reaction is how much energy in kilojoules is transferred per mole of substance. Convert joules to kilojoules by dividing by 1000. Divide the energy change by the amount of Zn2 plus ions. Remember, this is the limiting factor. Delta Rh is minus 156 kilojoules per mole. You must include the minus sign. The solution got hotter. It is an exothermic reaction. Here's the next part of the question. Another student used the same method and obtained the value for the enthalpy of reaction of minus 142 kilojoules per mole. A data book value for the enthalpy of reaction is minus 310 kilojoules per mole. Suggest the most likely reason for the large difference between the student's experimental value and the data book value. The data book value is probably more reliable the student's value is less exothermic. The most likely reason for this is that there is heat lost to the surroundings. Here's the next part of the question. Suggest how the student's method and the analysis of results could be improved in order to determine a more accurate value for the enthalpy of reaction. Justify your suggestions. Do not refer to the precision of the measuring equipment do not change the amounts or the concentration of the chemicals. You will probably complete a similar practical as part of your course if you haven't done so already. You will be asked about practical work in exams. You need to be able to outline the required practicals that you carry out and suggest improvements to given procedures, as is the case here. Let's address the question. Use a polystyrene cup with a lid instead of a glass beaker. This will reduce heat loss. Record the temperature every minute for three minutes to establish the initial temperature before adding the magnesium. Record the temperature every minute for a further 10 minutes. Plot a graph of temperature against time. Extrapolate the graph to find the temperature change delta T at the fourth minute. As well as describing the graph, draw a sketch this will make it clear to the examiner what you are trying to explain.
Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Post in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions. Take care.